Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out Luxart Vehicle Control number 3. Um, this is an updated version that allows for custom sirens and it has an in-game UI along with an in-game menu where you can edit all of your settings per user, which is really cool. I went over this originally during a stream um, earlier this week, but unfortunately my audio files got cut up. So I wanted to redo this. Um, I was originally just going to re-release that footage, but you can feel free to go watch it if you want in the VOD. Um, but this is standalone video for that. Um, so all you need to do is it's pretty much drag and drop um, other than if you want to modify sirens. And I'm going to do a full siren video in about a week and a half, if that's my goal. Um, so stay tuned for that. If you're interested in custom sirens, this will just be installing and setting up Luxart Vehicle Control V3. So all you have to do, go to this resource page or GitHub page linked in the top of the description and make sure you download directly from the releases tab. Do not download directly from here. So you're going to download from the releases tab. There's a couple things that you're going to see here. First, you're going to see there is a FX manifest file just for Linux servers. So if you're using Linux, um, you're going to want to download that FX manifest um, and then replace it with the full version. If you are already have this installed, there's an update only version. But we're going to download the Luxart Vehicle Control version 3.2.9 Rev 1 or whatever version you're downloading when you're watching this video. And then when you have this, you're going to navigate to wherever your 5M server is installed. For me, it is my server data resources folder. And in here, there's a couple things we're going to do first. First, you're going to go into this dependencies folder and you're going to bring Rage UI into your resources folder. You have to use their version of Rage UI. It is modified for this. So if you already have it installed, install this version. And then you're going to see there's an LVC folder. You're going to drag that into your resources folder. If you are going to use any of their plugins, you can go ahead and install them in the LVC plugins folder. I'm not going to use any of the plugins in this video, but if you, those are something you want to use, you can find them in the plugins folder. In the meantime, we'll take a look at the settings.lula file. In here, there is something you need to set. You need to set your community ID. So I'm going to set my community ID as BGHDYT. That will make your resource work. If you don't have a community ID set, it's not going to work properly. By default, your key binding is O. You can use the key binding list here. You have a different lockout key rate. You have um, all your settings. Should you have part kill on by default? What you so see your buttons for hazards and turn signals and all that good stuff. And if you're using plugins, make sure to turn this to true at the bottom. But overall, that's all you have to do to install this. We're going to go to our server data server.cfg file. And in here, you're going to add two things. First, you're going to start Rage UI. And then you're going to ensure Luxart vehicle control, just like that. Very simple, very easy. Start up your server. And as long as this is in your console, you see started resource and this Luxart vehicle control thing pops up. It'll tell you your community ID, your current version and the latest version. You know, you are good to go. So why don't we hop in game and check it out? So as we are in game here and we spawn up our vehicle, you can see there is a Luxart control menu in the bottom left hand corner. You can see if I go ahead and turn it on, you can see those lights blink. If I turn on the siren, you can see that horn, you can see that. And if you have the takedown add-ons on the lock add-on, you can go ahead and use those as well. Opening O opens up the Luxart vehicle control menu. Here you can configure your main siren. Should you have an interrupt mode on your air horn? Should you reset when you're on standby, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. You can also change what you do for your siren tones. Primary siren tones, this allows you to modify it if you have custom sirens on your server. We are not doing that right now, so we don't have to worry about that. But you can modify that to your liking if you need. Siren part kills the one I like. So this is where if your siren is on and you exit the vehicle, it's going to automatically turn off, which is a super useful feature. You have HUD settings. If this is enabled or disabled for your HUD, you can go ahead and move it around. Move mode just lets you drag it around your screen to wherever you want it to go. Once you find the place you want it to go, just go ahead and press escape and it will exit the move mode. And then you have audio settings. Should your radio controls and stuff be inside uh, for your weapon wheel, etc., cetera, et cetera, um, which is pretty cool. And then you have storage management. All you have to do here is save the settings. When you are done, you could factory reset it. You could reset your settings as well. You could also copy your settings um, for other people. So pretty cool resource. I really like it. It's very easy to install. We'll go over custom sirens in about a week. Um, so hopefully this did help you out. And if you have questions, um, the author has a GitHub issue page, so you can go ahead and submit them. Tune into our live stream next time if you want some help installing your resources or want to suggest resources for me to cover. Thank you so much for waiting for this video. It means a lot. Make sure to subscribe, watch 5PD. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. So you need a little break, huh, boy? Say you need a little space, yeah, boy. Is it cause you can't be faithful, boy? Hope she's cool.